Hey guys, welcome to Progress Skill. This is another video of the Python course. In this video, I'm going to talk about numbers, integers, float, and complex number. Also, I will talk about type conversion and random numbers. If you are interested, you can watch the rest of this video. I'm Hassan from Progress Skill. In Progress Skill, I talk about web development, programming skills, and artificial intelligence. If you are interested in these kinds of videos, you can subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and share them with your friends. So let's jump into numbers in Python. There are three numeric types in Python, int, float, and complex. Variables of numeric types are created when you assign a value to them. For example, let's consider a variable called x and set it equal to 5. Another one, y, and I set it equal to 41.36. And last one, variable z, and I set it equal to 4 plus 5j. First one, x is an integer. Second one, y is a float number. And third one, z is a complex number. So let's print the value of these variables, x. Second one, let's print y. And let's print last one, z. When I hit this run button, you can see that 5, 41.36 and 4 plus 5j are printed out onto the screen. Now let's print type of these variables. Type of x, type of y, and type of z you see class int class float and class complex let's talk about first one integer numbers integer is a number positive or negative with any value that doesn't have any decimals for example something like this or another one a negative one something like this all of these variables are integer numbers let's talk about float numbers for example 19.52 in this number we have decimals and here we have two decimal and you can consider any decimal that you want also you can consider a scientific number like 35 e 100 let's print second one i want to print y and also the type of y print type y let's see as you can see this is the value of a scientific number that we created up here and this is the class of this variable and let's go to third one, z, for example, 5 plus 1j. Consider one important thing. If you want to use 1 for imaginary part, don't do something like this. If you do something like this, Python will give you an error. See, name error. Name j is not defined. So you have to use this okay so if you want to use one for imaginary part don't omit that now let's talk about type conversion let's consider again three variables 5 15.21 and z 5 plus 2j now I want to convert x, which is an integer, to float and complex. Let's see the result. A. 
I want to use float method to convert 5 to a float number. Let's see the value of A and also the type of A. Let's see. As you can see, 5.0. We don't have any decimals. So the decimal is 0. And the class is float. If I change this to complex, now I want to change or convert an integer to complex number. We can see that the class of this number is complex and the imaginary part is zero because uh, just we have a five and there is no imaginary part for that. And now let's change a floating number to integer and complex. Now I'm going to use a method called int and now I'm going to use y. Let's see what will happen. As you can see, the value is 15 without any decimal. So this number is an integer and the type is int. And if I want to change this to complex, I can see that 15.21 is the real part of complex number. And for the imaginary part, because there is no number, we have zero here. And the class is complex. But one important thing that you should notice, you can't convert a complex number to integer or float. If I do something like this, for example, if I try to convert Z, which is a complex number, to an integer number, Python will give me an error. Type error. Can't convert complex to int. And also, if I change a complex number to float number, I will see the same error. Can't convert complex to float. Okay, now let's talk about random number in Python. Although there is not any random function in Python, we can use a module called random. I'm gonna import random modules. If you're familiar with other languages, I don't know, with C or C++, there's a similarity here. In C or C++, we can use include and import in Python is like include in C or C++. Now, in order to print a random number, I'm going to use print and inside print, I'm going to use random module. Now, I'm going to use a function in random module. The name of function is rand range and inside parentheses, I'm going to use a range. For example, a range between 1 and 25. So in this line, I tell Python that give me a random number between 1 and 25. Let's see the result. I'm going to run the project. You can see first random number is 1. If I run again, I can see 6, 7, 14, 9, 8. And you can see there is a random number when you run this line. Okay, guys, now this video is over and I hope you enjoy that. If you like the video, you can like it and share it with your friends. And also you can subscribe to my channel. That really helps me. Now I want to suggest other videos of my channel that I think will be appropriate for you.